Going into the Bears versus Broncos game, we all kind of expected the same thing. Two worst teams in the league, it's going to be a boring game, but it actually turned out being pretty good, even though the Bears didn't win. High scoring game, a lot of touchdowns, and just an electric performance, which I'll admit I'm not really used to, but it was a ton of fun, and hopefully it's a little bit promising for the Bears moving forward. If you're new here, I photograph every home game for the Chicago Bears, so today we'll be going over some of my favorite photos and how I really accomplished them throughout this game versus the Broncos. Starting out with the kind of photo that I really have come to love, and it's the whole team's huddle, especially when a quarterback will go down on his knee when he's calling the play. I mean, there's a few things about this photo. Easily just the separation from the background and the white jerseys adding a little bit of fade to the background. That's a little bit of dehaze secret secret and i just love this photo overall there are moments in the game that are tough to capture and as i say week in and week out you're kind of lucky when you get some different moments this is after the bears got a sack and you're getting a celebration of the defensive player in order to really get this you have to be behind the line of scrimmage which really isn't that popular to be doing because you want to be downfield in case there's a big play so if the Broncos broke a touchdown there, I was gonna miss that shot. Since the Bears got a sack, I was there to get the celebration from the side and just a great moment whenever you get that interaction, whether it's two camera, straight on, doesn't really matter, but you get the celebration. There's a lot going on in this and as soon as I got it, I was really just scrolling through to check if I got the flag coming in the foreground because I saw it through the viewfinder, but you never really know. Right here, Cole Komet didn't catch the ball, but it was a pass interference call. So he was looking at the ref like, come on, you going to call that? And there you go. You see the flag coming in the foreground. This photo tells a story. That's a lot of the times what you're going for. You want to tell the story of what the heck is going on. So seeing the flag in the foreground, seeing Cole Komet complaining to the referee, this encapsulates everything that was going on in this moment. And as a photographer, that is just as good as it gets. This photo I thought I was going to like more than I do. And let me explain why. This is a photo of DJ Moore's first touchdown reception as a bear. But you can't really tell that it's a touchdown. I'm using the 200 to 400 lens. And right here you see that he's catching the ball. But this could be on the 30 yard line. You have no idea where this catch is being made. And since I was shooting at 200 mil, you can't see his feet. So the reason that this photo isn't my favorite in the world is because if you see this photo and you have no idea what happened in the game, well, you have no idea what's going on. He ended up tiptoeing to get in as well. So if I captured that entire thing and then you see him catching, tiptoeing in the corner, that would be the best photo I could get. But right here, I'm not super pumped with this because I was limited by my gear. Maybe if I had a 70 to 200, that would have been nice, but that would have been on my B cam. This all happened very fast, and since it was about a 30-yard touchdown, I wasn't necessarily expecting it. My fault, but I don't really love the photo because it doesn't tell the story. There are a lot of moments throughout the game where every single photographer is shooting it. A lot of times, it's a field goal. If it's a game-winning field goal, well, what are you going to photograph? One of the pieces of advice that the NFL gave me whenever I started shooting was to try and capture the little moments. One of the most viral clips that they got a few years ago was Aaron Rodgers reacting to a field goal being made. Not the field goal itself, because they can pull that from the broadcast. That's what everybody's getting. But getting the sideline reactions. Right here, this is exactly the same thing, really. I took a peek at the sideline, and you see Sean Payton, Corlin Sutton, and Russell Wilson. The coach, and then two of the best players on the team, reacting to this field goal. Really looking right towards where I was. I could have been on the kicker, get a photo that I'll really never use for anything. But instead, I was locked on them, where you clearly see the focus and the emotion hoping that the field goal goes in, and then you see the player to the left of Russell Wilson calling the field goal, which is just perfection when it comes to trying to tell the story. That's the biggest thing we're talking about today, telling a story with your photos. Now to a photo that I wasn't super in love with, but as I look at it more and more, I really start to appreciate it. It's pretty clear what's happening in this photo. It's Russell Wilson calling motion, calling an audible, whatever it may be. But the thing that really sets this one apart is that he's being backlit. So the sun is on the opposite side of him. It goes sun, then Russell Wilson, and then me taking the photo. Then you see that shimmer on his helmet, which is just the cherry on top. Add good lighting with a little bit of editing in Lightroom, and this is what you get, and I'm really happy with it. Now for this one, we're talking about a moment in time. Now let me explain. We got two shots here. I couldn't figure out which one I liked more, so we'll just talk about them together. 
Cole Komet's celebration is usually him hitting a home run, like a baseball celebration of some sort. And Justin Fields was pitching to him. I had the 24 to 70 on my hip, grab this photo. So in one, you see Justin Fields pitching, and the other one, you see Cole Komet hitting. This is really right place, right time. The fact that Cole Komet scored right in front of me, and I was right there to be able to get this photo. I think what really makes me like this one even more is that I know a lot of people probably didn't capture this entire moment. If you're only photographing Cole Komet, well, you don't know that Justin Fields is right there. If you're only getting Justin Fields, why the heck is he going through a pitching motion? Doesn't make sense. This is a wide showing the reaction of the crowd because everybody's cheering right after the touchdown. And then you have two of the best players on the team celebrating. Really, when we talk about my NFL photos that I like the most, this is up there for maybe my favorite photos I've gotten ever. So now another one that was a great moment captured in two different ways. The Broncos finished this game by picking Justin Fields off and that really was the nail in the coffin. And so whenever the interception happened, I was on the opposite side of the field. So at 400 millimeter, I got the photo of the player celebrating, but I ran over with my wide lens to where he was running to to celebrate. And then I got this photo. One of them clearly is compressed with a telephoto lens and the other one is wide with the wide lens. Pretty much the same moment, but a couple minutes apart. If I had to pick one or the other, I actually think I would pick the wider one for reasons that I'll talk about with the next photo. But I just like that it's more intimate. You feel like you're really there. You're there next to the players and it really encapsulates being there, the celebration and really the game ending interception. So before we get to my favorite photo of the game, like, subscribe, you know the drill. Helps me means nothing to you, but it helps me. My favorite photo from the Bears versus Broncos game is this photo of Russell Wilson during pregame. There's something to this that I really like, and I think I actually wrapped my head around why. I've been falling in love with photos that are really good photos, but not because there's a lot of depth or because there's a lot of separation from the background. A photo that could be taken on an iPhone or a $100,000 camera is all about composition. The photo is gonna be good either way. This one could have been shot on really anything, and as long as you edit it in the correct way, it doesn't rely on depth. You're not trying to get a 50 millimeter 1.2 lens for this. I love this photo because it's a unique perspective of a very generic event. Holding the camera really above my head, shooting down while Russell Wilson is stretching out, seeing the Broncos helmet, the hard sunlight coming in, the shadow, really just a chef's kiss whenever it comes to photography. So that's it, Bears versus Broncos, a game that was probably one of the most fun games I've gotten to photograph so far. Didn't expect that, but it ended up being a ton of fun. Thank you for watching, and as always, here's some of my favorite photos from the past week. Peace.